Praise is a liar, says Kid Wire. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Chrissy Undeze, and I'm here to bring you the usual, which is the latest and the hottest cheese coming straight from the Big Brother Niger lockdown house. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly click the subscribe button for the latest updates containing the Big Brother Niger lockdown show. So guys, it was a different story yesterday when the Big Brother uh, diary section took a different turn. If you could recall, Big Brother told the head of house, Kid Wire, that he was going on a holiday and he would be communicating via phone call to the head of house and to the other housemates as well. And so yesterday's diary section was so interesting. I picked some interesting ones from the diary section and it went this way. The housemates were paired in a way that one of them will be Big Brother and the other one will act as the housemates. And I found Erica's diary section very interesting because she was paired with Wathoni. I mean, Wathoni acting as the big brother for Erica. It felt like Vicky just knew what's up. Like he just wanted these two to have a conversation because they actually are not on a good turn. So Erica opened up to Wathoni that she found out who her father was on Instagram. It actually happened in a way that she found out that someone who was bearing the same surname with her messaged her and said, I mean, she would like to be friends only for her to find out that the same person that messaged her is her stepsister and that was how she actually found out who her real father was because she's been trying to get to know her father but it was really difficult and to date she doesn't have a very cordial relationship with her father and then Wathoni who was acting as Biggie asked her if there was any other thing she wanted to share with Biggie or talk about then Erica told Wathoni like the whole thing took a different turn and she took it like it was a personal chat for them and she told Wathoni I don't like the fact that that we are not uh, communicating well and we do not have a relationship like a friendship relationship I mean she saw it as an opportunity to actually express her feelings towards Wathoni it was a very interesting one to watch and then we moved to Kid Wire I mean Kid Wire's biggie was Dora and Dora asked Kid some questions and the one particular question Dora asked Kid Wire was um, if you were to use a magical power to date someone in the house who would it be or just to date someone without anyone interfering or, or anything who would it be and then kid wire said no one <laughs> he was really shocking but then he continued and said well no one apart from erica if there's any other person involved and it's not erica he won't be dating anyone and then he went on to say that praise actually talks too much praise is a liar and he doesn't believe that he's real that most people that talk too much tend to be liars and he feels that most of the things that praise has actually come out to say that he has done or he is is a lie so it was fun to see that diary section coming from Kidwire. And then we moved to Dora. Hmm. Dora's biggie was no one else but her friendship, or oh, like I say, ex friend. <laughs> ex-friendship uh also so also who was acting as biggie asked dora what she would do if she could actually turn back the hands of time and then dora didn't even waste time without spilling what she wanted to say i mean she went on to tell also who acted as biggie that she would have focused more on other housemates like expanded her friendship to other housemates because she took all the time to invest in her friendship with also which she she didn't actually get something like positive at the end of the day and she really feels bad about the whole thing so she felt if she actually could be giving back time she would expand her relationship and get to know other people in the house and be friends with other people I feel like I don't know but I, I feel like also really try I mean picking her as the deputy head of house and making her immune for eviction for that week is that all she can say Whatever guys, so let's move on to the next story. So guys, Katrina is in the mouth of the housemates again, but this time around, it's Bright O and Talani Badge talking about Katrina. I feel like Katrina has been like on the lips of all the housemates. She's been evicted like a long time ago, but then these housemates can actually help but talk about her. It shows that she's actually impacted in a lot of ways. I mean, so Bright O and um, Talani Badge were talking and Talani Boys talked about Katrina being very bussy and how she didn't enjoy her food. 
But then she actually ate it. <laughs> how she didn't enjoy her food and how Katrina made them eat the food and then use it against them to want to be bossy and all of those things. Well, that she's glad she's actually left. That she didn't know how she would have felt having Katrina in the house up to date. Then by O reply by saying, well, at first, he started by actually praising Katrina, that she's actually a very nice person. But then when he saw that Tolani Badge was being defensive and talking bad about uh, uh, Katrina, he just switched and started saying the same thing about Katrina. So guys, baby girl is out of the house, but then her stories and her gist keeps popping up every now and then. Moving on to Nengi and Ozo. I don't even know what to explain to you guys. I thought Nengi made it clear to Ozo that Ozo should not actually misplace their friendship for a relationship or something serious. But then last night, these guys were just staring at each other, talking, and then the next thing we saw Ozo facing um, Nengi. And one of his hands was on Nengi's boobs. Then the other one was on his bed and he was humping. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like if you already set the record straight to him, it should be like a continuous thing. So why are you still giving, why is Nengi giving us a hope? And I really don't know what to say between these two. So guys, that's all I can bring to you on today's gist. I hope you had fun watching. I hope you enjoyed. Just stay tuned because we have more interesting things to talk about on this channel concerning the BB Niger Lockdown Show. I'll see you soon. Bye.